guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time, Lord Jesus. I don't even remember the last time I recorded a video. Um, so I kind of wanted to get on here and do a chatty get ready with me, chit chat get ready with me. I've been seeing a ton of these. These are kind of like the thing right now. I've been seeing them all over YouTube and quite frankly, I find them very entertaining. I feel like it's very interesting to watch people get ready and also talk about their lives. I feel like these kinds of videos are a very fun and easy way to kind of get to know whoever you're watching on camera. And also it gives the person who's recording a chance to do their makeup while they're talking so it's actually um I feel like the best of both worlds so I wanted to get on here and do one of these for you guys today today is going to be date night for me I'm going out with my boyfriend tonight we're going to do a dinner just us and it has been a while since it was just us if you don't know I do have a little one so sometimes it gets a little hard to disconnect from her and um, kind of do my own thing as an adult we're not gonna do anything too crazy but I did want to get dolled up for myself and I guess for him. Since I haven't recorded a video in so long, it's been well over a month. Kind of wanted to update you guys on what I've been up to, what I got going on, and kind of what I foresee in the future happening with my channel and everything like that. So let's just jump right in. I'm not going to keep you guys held up for too long because I kind of want to get started. I feel like these videos can turn into really, really, really long videos. Since these videos are a little bit more casual, it's not like a full-on makeup tutorial, I might occasionally forget. I'm going to try not to, but I might occasionally forget to let you know what I'm using at the moment. So if I do forget what product I'm using I will make sure I jot down every single product that I'm using and I list it down below in the description box make sure you check that out in case I miss anything I'm gonna try not to but I can already guarantee I'm going I'm gonna talk so much that I'm just gonna skip over so many of the things that I'm doing here so I'm gonna jump in and start priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape. I have been in love with this concealer for the past like four or five months. Honestly, it's all that I use and I can't even front like it's the only concealer that I use. I don't think it's a light concealer by any means in the sense of its coverage. However, in the sense of its um, weight and its feel, it's very light. To me, I don't feel like it's very heavy at all. And I also feel like you have a lot of control of how much you want to put on. If you want it to be a medium coverage, you can go for that. Or if you want to build it to a full, it's very easy to do that as well. So like I mentioned, you guys, I am a mom. I do surprise a lot of people when I tell them that. Nobody ever believes me. When I tell them I'm a mom, they're like, oh, you're like 10. How are you a mom? <laughs> but I guess my jeans are good. I'm actually not. I'm 23. Um, and that shocks a lot of people. Nobody ever thinks I'm a day over 18. So... That's always really funny to me. Um, everywhere that I go, I mean, I'm carded every single way that I go. Anytime somebody sees me and they see me with my daughter, they, like, double look at me like, what? Like, how is she, like, how does she have that child? Like, nobody ever understands. Um, so it's pretty funny. But, I mean, it's my life. I'm also really short, and that doesn't help my situation. I did have my daughter young, and it was a struggle. Um, but, I mean, it did help me grow up a lot. And I'm very thankful for her. You know what I mean? Just love that little girl to pieces. She's made me the woman that I am today. And I'm just so grateful for her. Kids are no joke. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of people are really scared to have kids. Honestly, the society that we live in today, it is pretty hard to have kids. Just because the world itself is so scary. It's so full of hate. I feel like it's such a dark time to raise children these days. I... I honestly, it's it's a scary thought. But the way I look at it is, I want a big family. I want to be a mother. I want to have kids to look after. And I want to have children who look after me when I'm in my old age. So it's something that I hold very near and dear to my heart. I am one of three daughters. So we are very, very, very protective over our mom and dad. And now that they've kind of entered their older age where you kind of see the role switch where you're taking care of your parents now. You're making sure they're good. You're making sure their doctor's appointments are on point and that their health is okay and all of that. And um, I think the roles kind of switch a lot when you turn into an adult. So I just want to have the children to look after me the way that I look after my parents. Um, that's just something that's really, really important to me. And obviously kids are not for everyone, but they are definitely for me. I actually do want to have another child soon. I don't know how soon soon is, but sooner rather than later. Going in with this shade right here, which I believe is from Ofra. I don't know the exact shade, but it's very similar to Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. I'm going to pop that on my crease just to start a transition. Date night, I'm going to be going for something a little bit smokier. I haven't done a smoky eye in what I feel is a hot minute, so I wanted to bring that back today. I haven't done makeup since like... A week or two ago I just got back from vacation guys that's kind of the reason I was MIA honestly it was just so stressful leading up to the vacation and then obviously being on vacation coming back from the vacation the whole process in itself is a very 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 stressful time time consuming situation not stressful when you're on vacation but stressful getting ready for the vacation and stressful coming back 
getting acclimated to your life, your work, your dirty clothes, everything, like that's stressful in itself. I just could not find the time to film a video. And it's not that I'm trying to make excuses for myself, but it's just what happened. Um, life just gets in the way and if you do YouTube videos, I'm sure you've noticed that or even if you don't You just know that sometimes you plan things and they just don't work out the way you want them to because your life just gets in the way I went to the Dominican Republic. I don't know if I said anything I will not have a vlog for you guys this year last year when I went I did do a vlog I didn't vlog this year though just because honestly I pull out my camera as much as I wanted to I kind of just wanted to enjoy the moment and be with my family and just kind of not worry about filming anything and I wanted to but the other part of me is I didn't know how comfortable my family would be with it. At the end of the day, I spend most of my time on vacation with my family. I really wasn't ever alone. The only time I was ever alone was kind of like when I was in the room. Me being in my room wouldn't really do much for anyone. Uh, it wouldn't be really entertaining to watch. But I was with like my family and some of my extended family. And I just didn't know how they felt about you know having a camera in their face. And eventually I'm going to bring it up to them and see what they feel about it but for now I just didn't know how they felt and I kind of wanted to respect their space too and not kind of have the camera in their face the whole time but I am definitely interested in vlogging honestly these days keeping it like really real I've been more interested in vlogs and kind of people's like everyday lives and you know people going to Target and people going to like Marshall's, TJ Maxx to shop like you know silly things like that that people do in their everyday lives that I do myself in my everyday life like those are the things that I've kind of been gearing towards and trying to watch myself just because it's relatable, it's stuff that you do. And it's just like the nosy factor that's kind of in everyone even though you want to believe it or not or you want to admit to it or not. Everybody's a little bit nosy. I've just been very, very into vlogs. Um, so it's definitely something that I'm entertaining. I want to start vlogging. I want to learn more about it. But I just don't know. I need to get myself used to it. And I also feel like I need to really continue focusing on this channel before I even consider opening a vlog channel or I even consider doing anything extra because right now I'm not even doing a really good job with my own um, beauty channel and I'm gonna be the first one to say I'm really not doing a good job keeping up with it being consistent so I feel like I need to master my consistency here and master my schedule my upload times and all that before I even consider doing vlogs because right now I don't even know when I would be editing a vlog you know because I'm not even finding the proper time to edit a beauty video and that's kind of where I'm struggling right now so I did build up the colors a little bit using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. This is the one that we got last month in BoxyCharm. Um, I'm just using it now because my BoxyCharm came in the mail while I was in DR for vacation. And I'm pretty much just now opening it so I wanted to kind of try this out. So I've been using a mixture between these two colors and just putting it on my outer V kind of just to deepen that out. That's what I'm doing. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about before my camera died but... I really honestly have no clue what the hell I was saying. Since it is pretty much happening right now, and by the time I upload this video, it probably would have already passed. I just want to take a moment to wish safety upon everybody who is being directly or even indirectly affected by Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, which is happening right now, possible Hurricanes Jose and Katya that I'm hearing about. Honestly, they're all crazy. These natural disasters are honestly taking over. I am praying for each and every one of you guys, and I have you all in my thoughts and prayers and deeply in my heart because this is honestly like one of the scariest moments to be alive, honestly because everything that is happening right now is just ridiculous and it goes without saying I mean everything every natural disaster that is happening every political craziness that is happening like everything that is just happening these days is honestly just detrimental so like I said I did deepen the colors a little bit I am gonna use probably this one right here which is a little bit darker it's kind of the darkest shade from the palette it's kind of like a charcoal like deep gray it's not quite black um, but it is definitely a really deep gray and I'm going to put that on my outer corner. So like I said, I am doing a date night with my boyfriend. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I don't, I don't think I ever talk about him really, but my boyfriend, his name is Andrew. We've been together for almost nine years and he is the father of my child. He's my high school sweetheart. We've kind of like 
been ride or dies for a while now and yeah we're going on a date tonight we don't do them often and i've been talking to him about kind of trying to do these more just because it gives us a chance to just rekindle things and just make sure that we're keeping our relationship alive not that it's not but you know what i mean um but you guys that are in a long relationship know what i mean sometimes being with the same person for a really long time not that it could get boring but it could get repetitive it, it could easily turn into something that's very routine and you never want your relationship to be a routine so never stop dating that person never stop dating your spouse never stop dating your longtime boyfriend girlfriend just because the minute you stop dating them things could turn for the worse in your relationship and you always want to salvage that you always want to hold that near and dear to your heart and you always want to make sure you're keeping it alive keeping it fresh keeping it tight right you know what i mean so yeah that's um we don't do these dates too, too often just because, like I said, we do have a little one. But that shouldn't be an excuse. Don't ever let your kid be an excuse as to why you can't enjoy yourself, you can't enjoy your partner, and you can't enjoy each other. So, yeah, just keep it alive. I'm going to keep it there because I don't want to talk too, too much about it. Oh, another side note. I did cut my hair. I did a trim. I'll show you guys in the end um, of the video. But I did end up trimming it. It was extremely unhealthy and so bad. Um, my ends were disgusting. So I did trim it just because I did want to get on a journey for healthier hair because, I mean, it's a journey that I struggle with. I love my flat iron way too much and the heat damage is real. So it's kind of like a long bob. It's not too, too short but it's not long obviously so it, it, it works for me and it's something that's working for me so if you're trying to salvage your hair from heat damage you just want to do something a little bit different i definitely recommend this cut because it's comfortable you can still do a ponytail you can do a bun but you also don't have your long hair that might be unhealthy or maybe in the way um so i definitely recommend it taking this shade right here which is called sunset i'm gonna pack it on a flat definer and just put it on my inner corner. This is a really nice color. So I am actually starting school back up. I've never stopped going to school. Honestly, the only time I really took a break was the year that I gave birth to my daughter, which was 2014. Um, but afterwards, I've never actually stopped going to school. Um, I'm finishing up a degree right now in business and I sh I'm hoping and praying to God that I'll be done for this upcoming spring in 2018. I got a degree in medical assisting and I just, I, I have it but I'm not putting it to use because I don't work in the medical field and it's just something that I thought I wanted to do. Enrolled myself in the program, I did it, I completed it, I graduated, and then afterwards, when I went to work in the field and I did my externship, I just realized that I just didn't think the field was for me. And there's nothing wrong with it. Actually, kudos and hats off to everybody who is in the medical field. It is definitely something that requires a lot of patience. See, so give a lot of props to the people who can do it. But honestly, I couldn't. Like, I couldn't work in the field. I just... I found myself being very wigged out by blood and stuff like that and it's very stupid to say because it's almost like girl why'd you go to school how did you handle school I don't know how I was able to handle school I did it just fine I got straight A's and then after I went to the field I'm like oh shit I'm actually gonna have to draw people's blood and stuff like <laughs> after I saw it I'm like oh this isn't sitting right with me so I'm honest to god not bashing the field at all but it's just something that I just didn't see myself doing so Right now, I am finishing a business degree, so hopefully I get that this upcoming year so I can take a long break from school. So I'm going to go off camera just to do my eyebrows and do my liner and lashes. That process takes me a decent amount of time, but not only that, I really can't talk when I do any of it just because I need full-on, like, face-to-face -face mirror relationship. I really just won't be able to talk, so I figure why even bother recording it. Um, but just so you guys know what I'm using, I'm going to use the Ilore Grand Glamour Lashes um, Vegas Nane collaboration with Ilore. I haven't used these in a while, um, so I'm going to pop those out and use them. They're very dramatic and very pretty, so I'm going to use these today. I'm also going to do my liner with the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner and the NYC Liner for those. And for my brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, BM Brown. So I'm gonna go off camera and do those really quickly and I'll be right back. Put these lashes on and right now, I don't know if I like them with this. I feel like they're really, really heavy, but I'm gonna keep them on and finish the look and if I really don't like them afterwards, then I'll go ahead and I'll take them off. I already went ahead and primed my face, so I'm going to go straight with foundation. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. My shade is 732 and I have been loving this foundation. It is the only one I took on vacation with me. It gives you that nice, healthy looking skin foundation and it has very nice medium coverage 
I feel like for some reason this doesn't really match me right now and it looks a little weird off camera look it's looking a little pale for me off camera so we need to fix that like yesterday I'm gonna use this wet n wild mega glow contour stick this is in the shade where it's walnut I'm just gonna put it on these areas I'm gonna blend out that double chin girl because ain't nobody got tongue for it. Over that with the Wet n Wild um, Dulce de Leche contouring palette, which you guys know I love. Just to kind of set that, but also to kind of bronze at the same time. I'm just going to dot a couple of dots under my eye and blend that out just so that I have a little bit of coverage down there. And I just realized that I did my contour before I did this. I, de I never do that. Don't do what I do, okay? really want to know what you guys are interested in seeing right now because as a new YouTuber or fairly small channel, like, sometimes it gets really hard to know what you want to film. I don't want to get lost in what, you know, big YouTubers are doing right now just because I'm not there yet. So I kind of want to stay true to myself and what... I believe in in my channel but I also want to do things that you guys want to see um so just let me know I'm a little bit of this shade right here from the palette and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line area for the inner corner I'm just grabbing a little bit of shimma shimma from makeup geek you guys know this is like my favorite inner corner highlight I'm gonna grab this wet and wild um, highlight stick this is in the shade when the nude strikes. Oh. Okay, wet and wild. Okay. Okay. This is intense though. So. Aw, look it. I'm gonna top that off with some Mary Luminizer. I haven't used this highlighter in so long. The lips. I'm going to take some of this Ultra Satin from ColourPop, which is in the shade Alyssa. that off with this cargo lip gloss in the shade towels so guys that is going to complete my get ready with me for tonight I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos from me I would love to know your video requests as well so please leave those down below don't forget to follow me on my socials I will leave everything listed down below thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye